Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. An absolutely historic and monumental day today. Uh, unbelievable. We haven't seen something like this since since the JFK assassination many moons ago. And this is quite something. We're going to read on it today. We're going to take some time to really focus on this. I've been thinking about this in the last few hours. It's It's unbelievable it's happened, really. Uh, with the Trump being an attempted assassination, an attempted hit on his life, to, to graze. For my understanding, it was a it was a the type of weapon used to graze his ear. It, it is it's basically nothing short of a miracle, really. I mean, to to not sort of to come that close, uh, it, it's unbelievable. In my estimation, the only reason he's alive is because the the when the the gunman pulled the trigger he pulled the gun slightly to the left. And that's that's the only reason he, he's alive, is a bad trigger pull. That's my that's my understanding of, of the situation. Um, unbelievable. Also, too, I've been thinking about this, you know, just think of it in context, you know, let's just David Icke it for a minute. Think about the, you know, connect the dots. Only a week ago, Biden fell on his face and embarrassed himself and and, you know, made it clear to many people that, you know... His antics or his, you know, his lack of whatever it is, uh, may actually put the, the, you know, the Democrats' victory at, at at a sort of in jeopardy. And a week later, this happens. It's it was a weird coincidence. Also, a couple of days ago, many many countries uh, pledged a lot of money to Ukraine in anticipation of Trump becoming president and defunding the war in Ukraine. That's a true true fact. Australia gave two hundred fifty million dollars to Ukraine. Um, uh, un- actually, it's actually unbelievable. If you were here and you'd see, if you knew the levels of homelessness in Australia now, it's it's something that's unprecedented in this country. I guess the uh, you know the people sleeping in tents and parks all over Australia can rest assured, and you know they can sleep well knowing that the war in Ukraine will continue. It's uh, quite something. Um, UK gave thirteen billion dollars a year until the war's over to Ukraine just recently, just to make sure that they get that NATO base in Ukraine uh, that they wanted. So, all right, it's, it's all happening. And then this happens. It's, it's a, it's a, at the very least, it doesn't matter if you're from the left or the right or the up or the down or the inside or the out, or if you're a space cadet, it's, it's, it's an odd situation we find ourselves in, in planet, you know, planet earth 2024. I can't believe we're actually living through an, an assassination of a presidential candidate, you know, an attempted, it, it almost happened. I mean, it was, one inch, I reckon, one inch from that ear lobe would have been all over for Trump. All it would have taken is one inch from the earlobe to the skull, uh, and it would have been the end of it. Maybe even half an inch, really, depending on the angle. Yikes. Got to think about that, folks. It's quite something to behold. He nearly got kennedy He nearly got kennedy Unbelievable. So we're going to read on this today. Was it a lone gunman? Um, was, you know, what was his motivation? Was he known to law enforcement? Uh, will Trump be targeted again? These are all questions I'm going to ask today. The spiciest questions, folks. Uh, of course, everyone knows that I'm I'm non-partisan on this channel. If you haven't figured it out now, like, I'm an independent thinker, folks. I know it's criminal. I know I know thought crimes are actually, um, honestly, real crimes in many places in the world right now. Uh, so just let it be known. <laughs> let it be known, folks. Let it be known. So I just want to make that sort of, you know, kind of, uh, I want to put that out there. I'm an independent thinker. So just let that be known before everyone sort of jumps on the, you know, the the bias train or whatever it is, folks, or whatever it is. Yeah, I hope, I hope a lot of people on the left come out and speak out against this. That's what I hope. I really hope so. I hope that happens. I hope a lot of people on the right do so as well. It really needs to be... This, this this type of behavior needs to be immediately um, removed from society. Peace at all costs. Peace at all costs. But, you know, this is the thing. is war, war overseas, war in, you know, in war in our own lands. It's just that time, isn't it? It's time for war. It's time for running away to the hills if we were smart. So let's dive in. There's my intro. It's, an, it's a sad day in many respects, in every respect, actually. There's no winners here. If that's how we're going to act, we're going to go back to the Stone Age, are we? All right. Let's have a look. Was it a lone gunman? Was it one person taking it upon themselves to to commit this act? Was it one person, the lone gunman? Let's have a look. Before we, we I'm sure we hear it on the news. There's a you know a lone gunman, all the rest of it. Was it actually a lone gunman, or did they have help from another partner or group of people or small group, large group or an institution of some description? 
Was it a lone gunman? Let's ask the question. Very important question we're going to ask today. a lone gunman. I'm going to lock into this. I really need to lock into this energy here. I feel like it's a bit... I feel like the energy doesn't want to be locked into, actually, when I focus on it. It doesn't want to be connected to. Was it a lone gunman? I'm getting evasive energy. Extremely ev evasive energy. There's a, there's a... I can actually feel when I focus on it. There's a conspiracy and a cover-up already. But let's... Uh, well, come on. Was it... Was it a lone gunman? Yeah. Ooh, they're doing a lot to hide, the, to hide this. Cards are hot. I can really feel it when I think about it. The tower. The tower. Nine of swords. Extremely powerful energy, the tower. The ace of swords. Well, it's one shooter, perhaps, with the, with the ace of swords. The seven of coins and the death card. All right, nine of coins, underlying energy. Oh, we haven't cared. This is interesting. We've got this here. We haven't actually received much of an answer. Why? Wow. I, I knew this was going to happen. I was like focusing. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't want, the energy doesn't want to be connected to. It's amazing. I don't know how they're doing that in the astral realm. Um, that's quite something, folks. That's quite something. One shooter, ace of swords, one firearm used. A firearm is a metal weapon, right? An ace, one ace, ace of swords, metal weapon. Uh, nine of swords... You know, there's a lot of, um, there's, uh, it seems like this event is upsetting some people here in terms of, you know, it was, the, the event didn't go as planned, basically, uh, here, and that's causing some people some distress. Nine of Cups is a in, very interesting energy, two nines, seven of Cups in the Death Card, obviously was intended, you know, intended to kill, intended to murder, so that's what it is, murder, uh, underlying energy. There's one person here and a Ten of Swords. So we've so far got in some indication, I guess, that it's a lone gunman, a lone gunman. But is this, you know, was this person trained in any way or supported? We'll have to ask another card question here. Very, I have to say, I know it's an intangible thing I have to talk about. We're not really focused on the question. It's a, it's a very evasive, it's a, there's a lot of energy around hiding and deception. Uh, you focus it on it yourself, the question, and maybe after the show, sit and focus on it. You know, maybe shuffle cards, focusing on the question, and see if you get a lock. Because I, I wasn't getting a lock. Very a lot of evasion energy. Um, so I see this seven of cups here is an interesting card because it, it, it's it, there is this. This is almost in the energy in the astral realm right now. Is the seven of cups? Is this deception? It's throwing confusion out there. There's there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of you know maybe maybe it's directed as well. There's a sort of a level of keeping this under wraps somehow. But maybe maybe not. Maybe there's a lot of people are thinking about it right now. Hard to get a lock. But okay, for now there's one shooter. Was this person? Was this person supported, aided, or funded, or and or, you know, whatever by some type of um, by others or an institution? So we're now focusing on the potential for accomplices, or was he just all alone? So let's go. One shooter, but was there an accomplices or funding support from any other people or institutions? That's what we're looking at. People or institutions involved here, or groups or whatever. Colts, I don't know. Cards are hot. Now, now look at this. Two of Wands, underlying energy. Now we see some type of partnership energy. King of Cups. Queen of Cups. Okay. We're also getting the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So two women and a man and the Tower here. Yeah. Interesting. So, so... So, it looks like there are other people involved. Don't see institutional... Um, I don't see institutional help or anything like that. It looks like there's some accomplices uh, that have been underhandedly sort of, you know, scheming for this sort of event. 
this this disgusting vile event which is what it is no matter who's you know who it is up there on the stage it doesn't matter who it is that's the thing it doesn't matter who it is and uh you can imagine I, I honestly just imagine if it was on the other side on the other side you know i just imagine how the wailing and the gnashing of teeth just imagine i just i just hope the reaction would have been the same if it was you know let's just that's all i'm saying i just you know equal reaction is you know really the test of of this in all in all respects so i really wish the reaction would be equal and opposite if it was uh the other side i hope it would be two queens and a king so i don't know is the shooter a man let's assume the shooter's a man it, to me it looks like there's two women accomplices here in some respects it's really weird maybe one perhaps even I'd say one, Pat, let's say that there's at least a woman involved, okay, so maybe that would be like a girlfriend or a wife or something, um, something along those lines, so yeah, there's a, there's another person involved, have to look into that, in the planning and executing and scheming phase, uh, maybe they even stole something to do this, maybe a firearm, it's possible they stole a firearm or, you know, whatever, but it could just be uh, underhanded, you know, tactics and planning as well that's gone into this, so just think about that for a moment. I don't see any, like the Kennedy, I remember the Kennedy thing, I did see some type of um, um, dark institutional involvement. I specifically remember re here, you know, reading on that and I, you can go back and have a look at the JFK reading that we did. I I'm sure it was the High Priestess card. All right, so let's move to, was the this person or persons known to law enforcement before this happened or is this just new, new sort of stuff? Was this person known to law enforcement? Cards are hot. We got the two of coins, three of swordage, king of wands. Uh, okay, king of wands, possibly nine of wands. Is he, oh, okay, interesting, five of coins of the world. Yeah, right. So, Do they know about him? Interesting set of energies. The two of coins here is maybe some type of suspicion here or something along those lines. It could possibly there's suspicion involved. You know, is this person a threat? Isn't this person a threat? You know, that type of energy coming in and maybe they've known about it for some time even with the three of swords possible it's possible that they've known about it but don't really know sort of the level of of issue uh maybe this person here has spent time in prison perhaps possibly or maybe this person is a even it's even possible this person's some type of uh hmm I mean, it is it is a card of someone who served in combat. So, you know, that's the archetype. Now, that could mean other things given, you know, this situation. It could mean that this person is some has ill in some way, mentally ill possibly, or, I mean, he'd have to be to a certain extent. But, you know, there's a certain level of illness going on here and uh, not sort of someone not quite right. You know, that's that's sort of the energy there. So maybe in some way that there's sort of known maybe it was on the radar but very possibly on the radar the man involved was at least the woman doesn't seem so much to be coming up at all right so that's kind of what i'm seeing on those cards right will trump be targeted again you know that's an interesting question to ask i find the timing again is so strange for this extremely strange timing will he be targeted again Oh, we haven't asked the motivation. We'll save that for last. Okay, we'll save it last. We'll save that for last. That's gonna be the big one. Oh, skip the best question. Well, will Trump? Be, we'll just say, uh, let it be. Let it be. All right. Will Trump be targeted again? And we'll look at motivation after that.
Cubs are hot. Will he be targeted again? Well, they're worried about it. Worried about him passing, being killed, basically. Uh, the, what's this? Justice card. The Magician. The Tower. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. The Star. Wow. Four Major Arcana and Six of Cups. Wow. Almost five Majors. Hmm. I would say that there is a, a real risk here with the tower card that this could happen again. A real risk. This energy is a bit concerning. Uh, I mean, you know, dare I say, you know, Trump's children perhaps could come in here. Uh, you know, that's the, kind of that energy. Uh, this looks like an, a major sort of... This would, The timing for this may be some type of event or some type of uh, special occasion in some way, perhaps... Hmm. I don't know what that would mean. Uh, I'm trying to think like a July, you know, like a July 4th special occasion. It's already gone, so I'll mention it, right? Something along those lines. I don't know. I don't know what sort of the thing would be there, uh, but something to think about. And, you know, these cards are interesting. We'll keep these in mind, the Magician and Justice, when we look into the motivation in a moment. But, uh, you know, it could speak to the Justice card, the, the, the gunman or whoever wants to do this, or maybe will be inspired to do this, unfortunately. We'll think it's some type of, you know, justice served or something. I don't know. Whatever. Let's uh, let's have a look now. Why did this? Why did the shooter do, do this? What is the motivation here? What was or is the motivation? Seven of coins, three of swords, four of coins, strange, the devil, oof, oof, and the ace of wands, underlying energy, the queen of cups, so it's a woman, two women as well, I mean, very interesting, we could throw that in there, uh, remember the first spread, the second spread, lone gunman, you know, it looks like this, it, it, highly related to the woman involved in this, or one or two women perhaps, the devil, that's interesting. Oh boy. You know, the devil card's an interesting card here. It's obviously the prominent card. You know, it speaks to... Um, quite evil intentions, really. I mean, that's kind of what it is, you know. I mean, I'm not going to go down the supernatural road here, but, but you know, even call it the sort of narcissistic sort of element, you could say. It, it, it's quite... I mean, the intentions are not... How can I say this without sounding sympathetic? Um, the intentions are not sort of positively ideologically driven. Like, you know, they don't believe, and I'm talking about the cards, they don't believe it was like a positive thing and this and that. It was a great, you know, I mean, I have read on people that were un, that, have, that are unhinged and sometimes you can see even in their unhingement, they still think they're doing the right thing. But this is not really it. It's, it's like they know they're doing the wrong thing. Uh, you know, it's not for ideologically sound reasons and they know it. They know it's... Um, they know it's a sort of, uh, they know it's, they, they know it's you know, like destructive. They know it's improper. It's like they, they are doing it for almost selfish reasons here with the four of coins. And, you know, they wanted to do it on a personal level as well with the ace of wands. Ah, uh, the devil card. You know, it could... Oh, the devil card. That's it. We can, how are we going to unpack the devil card? You know, it's... You know, it could speak to, on a personal level, the shooter being somehow... Um, under the the control, if you like, of another person, of, the, of a woman, for example. 
you know, like a sort of an abusive sort of psychological relationship, something along those lines. It's certainly possible. Uh, now, I'm not going to obviously draw any insights into, you know, how we usually see the devil card, but in any event, it's kind of, it's a bit like that, right? It's sort of like an abusive relationship, possibly, you know, where there's sort of like those psychologically abusive tactics going on and those types of things. It's very, very possible that that's playing a part uh, in this in this but still it, it seems to be yeah it's like they've almost been coerced and controlled into doing it but it's from a sort of interpersonal relationship that's that's what i'm seeing on the cards that's what i see it... It's like, and they definitely wanted to get rid of him with the three of, you know, three of swords. They wanted to rem sort of remove him from, um, from being a candidate. That's definitely a, a, a strong motivation here. Um, for what I see, for what I see, what was their, let's have a look. What was their sort of political affiliation? If we see that on the cards, we may see it. I'm not going to speculate, obviously, if it's too wishy-washy, but what was the, the shooter's political ideology, if they had any at all? And I'm not, I just want to make sure, like, everyone understands, I'm not assuming that it's a particular political ideology at fault. You never know with these things, right? You never know. We're going to have to get that black and white thinking out of the way, just... Just, we don't want to make too many assumptions here. I know that doesn't make good tarot sometimes, but uh, <laughs> let it be known. We need to sort of... This is pretty serious stuff. What uh, what was the shooter's political ideologies? Cards are hot. Uh, the Hierophant. Very... Okay, so this is a strong political focus here with the Hierophant. Uh, the sort of... The Sun... Uh, Hierophant, the Sun, the Three of Wands, the Two of Coins, and the uh, the Attack, the Prince of Swords, the Ace of Swords. Hmm. The Hierophant really represents the government. That's the, that's the government card, and it's kind of like the the Sun and the government. It's like the government's great. That's kind of the, you know, I support the government. The government's great. Uh, you know, obviously this person follows politics quite a bit. And maybe the, um, look, look, all that I have to say here is maybe the uncertainty of what's happened at the moment has caused the attack. Some doubt that's been cast. I mean, maybe it speaks to like the, what's happened in the last week or so. It's possible. Like what I'm saying, it's like, oh no, he might get in. Oh, let's have to do something, right? Uh, possibly or some type of uncertainty has set this person off. Um, and in that way, so it's possible. It looks like uncertainty, political uncertainty is, it has, uh, has caused this. Now that doesn't mean he's, you know, this, who he or she is, is on any political spectrum specifically. I can't draw that conclusion. All I can sort of do my best is to read the cards as I see them, as you would expect from a humble tower reader. And humble tea drinker, folks. So, with that said, uh, I can't wait to read the comments today and see what you guys think. I don't know if anyone else has read on this, but I think it's extremely interesting and it's one of the, the key events of our times, actually. The key events of our times is this particular uh, event. And I can't wait to see what you guys have to say in the comments. I will see... You there? Hang on a second. What's this? In the, before I get into, well, I've got a question here. Have you ever tried Russian ginseng? It's good stuff. I've never heard of Russian ginseng before. Uh, let's have it. You're talking about? Oh, I see. Russian ginseng is not true ginseng. It's uh, they call it Siberian ginseng. It's actually a, it's not from the ginseng family. Is my understanding of it? My understanding. Let's have a look. Or is it? Let's have a look. What's this? What is it? Let's talk about something good for a moment. Used... Uh, okay, what is it? Da -da 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 -da. Siberian ginseng. It's more of a shrub. I don't think it's actually a ginseng-like root, but let's have a look. Maybe I am wrong. 
I actually haven't had much to do with it, but it is from a different genus uh, than ginseng itself, is my understanding. So, ginseng, here's, uh, here's here to, talking about ginseng, it's weird you mention that because this is what I'm making a tincture of at the moment. This is American, this is an American ginseng root, whoops, and it's dry and I'm going to chop it up and, you know, mix it with brandy and leave it for six weeks or longer and I've actually got quite a few of these roots. I was mentioning this the other day, I was going to show it on the channel. These are the roots that I'm going to be making a tincture out of and I'll make it in this bottle. So I'll chop it up and uh, make something out of it. Amazing stuff. I've taken it as part of a formula, but I haven't taken it on its own in large quantities. I haven't done that. It is a chi tonic, an energy tonic, uh, I would think. In, uh, in Asian medicine. So let that be known. I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it's great on its own in high doses. So there you go. Have I tried it? Yes, but only in, for, only in combination with other herbs. Um, but I'm a big fan, as everyone knows in the show, well, maybe you don't. I'm a big fan of American ginseng. That's my favorite of all time. Uh, my absolute fave of all time is American ginseng. So in any event, it's been a very interesting day today i can't wait to see your comments so let's get there i'll see you in the comment section